And welcome back, Jay Elson, Jason Andera. Moving into the last two 11-man games here in South Dakota. And we're going to start with 11A here. And uh, kind of a contrast in programs in that West Central, a traditional power. And Madison, kind of a new kid on the block as far as football is concerned. The, anyway. uh, the other contrast is that Madison went undefeated and beat West Central in the regular season. But the Trojans were coming on strong. Always to beat a good team. Always tough to beat a good team twice in the same season. Bulldogs would strike first in this one. Jacob Giles looking for somebody, anybody, and he finds Rush Milne. It was a pretty good decision. He'll do the rest. What a run after the catch. Yeah, Rush Milne has a great job of running after the catch. Not the fastest guy in the field, but he found his way into the end zone. Got into the end zone. 6 0 Madison. Cole Terrell and West Central answers right here. Extra point. Would put the Trojans in front 7-6. What a season Cole Terrell has had. He's had a great season. He shares the ball with a lot of people in that backfield, but he deserves to be one of the best running backs in the class. Madison wouldn't stay down for long, though. Second quarter, Giles fakes everybody, including the cameraman, slides inside the pylon for the score. The two-point conversion was good. 14-7 Bulldogs. Giles back to the air a few minutes later. Hooks up with Preston Nordling for a big game here. They've got such a great connection all year. They've been working hard in the offseason, and they've got a great uh, just a, a non-verbals that they can hook up on a lot of those. That games. would set up Millen for his second touchdown of the game. 21-7 Madison looking like they might run away with this thing, but West Central cut into that lead before the half. Double pass. Second one goes from Jace Haddish to Cody Bustle for the score. Trojans down just seven at the half. Big sequence here in the third. Madison thinks they've got a turnover, but Cody Miller ruled down by contact. You be the judge. That would be a tough, tough one. I mean, obviously, we don't have replay. The refs do the best job they can, but it sure looked like Madison should have had that one. Especially big because of this. Very next play, Terrell takes it in for the touchdown. His second of the day, and we are tied at 21 apiece. Fast forward to the final 30 seconds. Trojans get tricky again. The halfback pass, Janish to bustle again in West Central. Takes the lead with 19 seconds remaining. Yeah, the dome absolutely erupted. Those crafty Trojans, you usually don't <laughs> think of them pulling the trick play out, but they said they saw that play earlier in a T game that actually didn't work and they put it into the game plan and, and it worked Madison twice. would get one last gasp, but Giles' pass falls incomplete and West Central stuns Madison 28-21 to claim their 12th state title. Such a feeling right now, it's almost speechless. The kids, this, the kids have worked so hard for this and to come through that tough patch we had in the middle of the season when it would have been real easy to throw your hands up and just say, wow, well, not our year, I guess. We found a way. Well, we, were, we were upset, obviously. I mean, we were down 21-7, but coaches kept us positive. We kept positive with each other, and we came together as a team and got it done. It was a team win. It was, it was a team win. It was a team effort. All right, let's move into 11-B now, Jason. And like the previous three games, this one featured a matchup of teams that saw each other during the regular season. They did. Canton was the favorite by almost anybody you asked that could be considered an expert, but their only loss in the year was to Parkston, so not so fast on that one. All right, let's go to the highlights for this one. Parkston gets a little creative on their first drive of the game. Josh Rance comes off the end around, delivers a strike to Brady Reef. 32 yards for the touchdown, and the Trojans jump in front 7-0, but Parkston Having trouble hanging on to the ball from there. Miles Semler coughs it up here. Bryce Schrodermeyer recovers for the Seahawks at the Parkston 26. And that would set up this. Cody Majors pitches to Kyler Kinevin. He makes a great cut, takes it in for a 14-yard touchdown, 7-7 after one. Yeah, we thought the first team to score twice might win this game, and the way it was playing out, it might be right. Turnovers absolutely killed the Trojans. Another one here in the second. Mitch Heisinger gets stripped. Ethan Murtha, Murtha recovers this time. Second turnover of the half for the Trojans. Unfortunately for them, it wasn't the last. Later on, they go play action. West of Borax throw picked off by Eli Ripley. Third giveaway of the half for Parks at 7-7 at the break. Third quarter now, Canton on the move. Majors sets up the screen for Gabe Dolan. He's gonna get some help. 36 yards plus a face mask. Takes it inside the five and Austin Schurz 
finishes it off from there. Seahawks score 14-7. Great blocking, not only on that screenplay, but at the goal line, they were able to punch it in without turning the ball over. And they would lengthen that lead in the fourth. Dolan sweeps left for a big gain. He carried 16 times for 97 yards. Then it's Tanner Broughton capping the drive with a touchdown on fourth and goal from the one, 20 to seven. Seahawks at that point. Parts to know, wasn't dead yet after a Canton turnover. Zach Scott finds Reef to get the Trojans down inside the Canton 10 yard line. And big Austin Bertram will rumble it in from a yard out to get the Trojans back within six. So here comes the onside kick, Jason Trojans are gonna have a shot at this they one. They have a shot. They were just happy to be in the game at this point after all those turnovers. But when it came up big, it was off the Trojan and the Seahawks recover it. That would be all they need to win. That would be all they would need is right. Canton captures its third straight, third state title by a score of 20 to 14. We went into halftime, didn't let ourselves hang our heads. We knew that uh, we've been playing second half football really well this year. We've been down before going into the second half. We told ourselves, let's get out there, keep doing it, and let's get this thing. I couldn't be more proud of everyone on my team. We got it. It's crazy. We wanted it since third grade. We've just been determined to get it. We hit the weights hard. You know, we've done all those sprints, all those practices, and they all paid off. Uh, my brother last game tore his ACL. Uh, had some motivation going into this game. Want to get a ring on our fingers. Uh, just want to keep rolling. Want to keep rolling. Get to keep the dynasty going and uh, build this program up. For these seniors that have kind of you know, gone through, been on some average teams, you know, we've had 500 records and they, they have worked their tails off and I'm so proud of them. All right, that does it for our 11 man championship recaps. And when we come back though, we're gonna move to the nine man ranks. That's next on Varsity Sports Now. Varsity Sports Now, presented by Shields.